So vitamin D actually reduces your cytokines, which is actually reduces inflammation by 30 to 50%. Um, I would like to talk first about some autoimmune um, diseases yeah. and what they're actually lacking. So when you're talking about the um, autoimmune diseases, the main essential nutrients and vitamins that are affiliated with this is going to be vitamin D, zinc, selenium, um, selenium, and then also omega threes, vitamin C, magnesium. and magnesium. Right. Yeah, and it's important. And they have all different functions within this, but they all play a role. Right. And and vitamin D is one of those important ones. Vitamin D is one of those, yes. especially D three with K two. Mm -hmm. And vitamin D is also important for what we call gene expression. So mm -hmm. a thousand genes in your body require vitamin D to basically turn on. So you have to have vitamin D. But when you talk about um, autoimmune disorders, like mm -hmm. A common one, rheumatoid arthritis, right. where the body is essentially attacking itself, attacking right. the joints, and you get tender, red, inflammatory mm -hmm. uh, conditions in the joints. Usually, things like the hands. That's very common, especially in seniors. Right. Um, that can be a deficiency in things like vitamin D. So, vitamin D actually reduces your cytokines, which is actually reduces inflammation by thirty to fifty yeah. percent. So, if you are having a ton of inflammation with something like, all right then that is where you usually are vitamin D deficient.